All right, guys, hello again. This is sort of an addendum to um, the video that I produced before, the screencast that I produced before. So um, one of the students in my first section, my 8 o'clock section of evolution today, told me that she had trouble getting these values down here to say, like, I think in her instance, she was trying to get these to say, like, Africa and East Asia, et cetera, and so forth. And so what I want to show you how to do really quickly is how do you change these categories. And so one of the things that you can do is literally you can change the categories here or even create another little column down here um, that has the different categories you want. So I'm just going to sort of change these. So let's say that for the school districts, that they actually have names and that it's going to be easier for the viewer to look at this data and assess it if they actually had the names of the school districts. So I'm going to change them up here in the original Excel file. So I'm going to change this to like Dade County and then this one to Hillsborough and this one is Polk and this one is, gosh, what could it be? Brandon I'm actually really trying to think of school district areas and then Dade. Okay, so what I've done is I've changed the school districts um, from just numbers to names. And so what I want is I want for these names to be used down here instead of just numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the these numbers down here. So when I click on the one, for example, it highlights all of these categories down here at the bottom of I should say along the x-axis. So if I right-click on that and I select change, select data, okay, I can hit edit and it'll say, well, what do you want to use as your axis label range? And then I can just select these. And then what you can see here is that in the graph right here, it changed those numbers to the names. So it's, for me, that's the easiest way to do it. So hopefully this will help some of you guys who are trying to get these, these different countries or whatever you're doing if you're trying to get the different species names down here to actually appear the way you want them to appear. And you can adjust the orientation of these. So if I click on this and I go back into layout, I can actually change a lot of these, um, a lot of these things by just you know, altering with some of these, uh, altering these different categories up here. So you can play around with the way that the text is displayed and that sort of thing. Anyway, so hopefully this is helpful, and I will see you guys soon. Good luck.